Alright, are you guys ready for this why you came here tonight? Are you guys ready for the reason why you came here tonight? Coming to the stage, you've seen him all over the world. You've seen him online, Netflix, Amazon, everything, you guys. He has the fifth most popular hockey pad podcast in all of Australia. <laughs> guys, make a lot of noise for the one and only Ian Bag, everybody! What's going on, people that couldn't afford to go away for the long weekend? Mmm, the poor of Sacramento. Come to the heartbeat of entertainment in the bed center. Oh man, I've done a lot of venues. This is, uh, not the best one. Anyway. No, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. I always buy. I always buy a Cerdo when I'm here. <laughs> always come in, get a bed, feel rested. It's a front for a whorehouse. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just empty beds, ready to be f***ed on over there. Oh my God, a lot of fun though. Good for you guys for f uh, living in Sacramento. I'm guessing you bought a house and you can't sell it. That's what I'm guessing. Somehow, do you live in do you live in old sack? Do you live in old wrinkly sack? Do you live down there? Even the streets down there look like old sack. Just cobble, just cobblestone. Look like old balls lying on the ground. Nothing from the front. They don't find me funny at all. I walked in with this couple. They didn't even want to sit there, but that was the last that was the last table that's left, and he's like, oh. And she's just she just looked at me. She's like, who's that? He's the d that's gonna make fun of you. That's what he said. <laughs> and here we are, having a conversation. If you don't enjoy here, go lie in a bed. <laughs> what kind of bed do you got? You got one of those ones that makes... <laughs> those ones that move up so you can get all in position before you do it. <laughs> Turn it into a wedge. <laughs> Pound me hard, Bobby. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little much, 7 seven thirty show on Saturday night. Tomorrow's a big day. It's all Catholics in here, and I shouldn't be saying that. You guys have to come to the early show because you got a big day tomorrow. You gotta send you gotta sit down, stand up, fight, fight, fight. Did you just yawn in the middle of my 730 joke? She just fell asleep. Boring. Move on, sir. Talk about something else. I see you got your purse around your neck. Are you on vacation? <laughs> it's a very tourist move to put your purse around your neck. All oh, those f goddamn hobos! Of, those hobos of Sacramento, they're not gonna get in my purse. Where are you from? Where are you from? We're down from Reading. <laughs> Two hours down, only had to have a tank of gas, going on vacation. We're going to the city. We're going to Sacramento. Anybody need anything from Costco? Let me go down. Come down here, get supplies, take it back up to the people, Reading, gather around, everyone. We've got thousands of pounds of M&Ms. What's your favorite color, M&M? The green one, weirdo. Oh, she hugged him and kissed him. Oh, that's the best wife ever. You're not a weirdo, you're okay. I love you, baby. That is not the wrong answer. Enjoy your green M&M's. Kiss me. Nom, 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 nom. Meanwhile, the tourists are drinking Truly. Those are f***ing monster Trulys. Or you're a tiny person, and that is a regular size can. How tall are you, ma'am? How tall are you? 5'2". Five 5'2"? Five yep, you're a tiny person. How tall are you, sir? 5'3". Tower over top of her. Why she's got a purse around her neck. There's no way he's gonna save her. It's the little fella. There's no way he's gonna help her. Oh, you're not gonna help. I'm gonna save my purse this time. I'm not gonna kidnap your tiny little husband. The homeless guy's just gonna pick him up and put him in a cart and push him down the street. You know what the part about that bed store is that there's windows and they leave the lights on and homeless people are outside. How 
big of a move is that? Just, can you imagine being homeless and just looking up there and... Just empty beds. Sorry guys, didn't mean to mention the homeless. I see you not laughing over there. <laughs> Libby's over there, not laughing. <laughs> I don't care if you're liberal or not. I'm, I'm right down the middle myself. That's the best way to be, right? Down the middle. Those are the normal people. Remember the normal people? We used to vote and then just move on for four years. <laughs> not like these wackadoos that want to relive it every five minutes. And then, and then, off. I got shit to do. Oh. Yeah. If you have more than two bumper stickers on your car, I'm talking to you, mother. And it's both sides, crazy on both sides. Like the liberal, the too far left people, they're all like, we gotta shut that cartoon down about a skunk that is trying to f a cat. Because it is teaching the children, if you have a stripe on your back, you can do anything and nothing. Recycle. Right? And the too far right people, they're all like, we got uh, Mr. Potato Head. It's canceled. Transgender. Right? They think Mr. Potato Head's been cancelled. It hasn't been cancelled. Nobody's made one since 1971. That's what happened. Because when they first came out, there was nothing else to do. And that was the, that was the iPad of the day. That was, that was Mr. Potato Head. We can put a face on a potato? Right? And every family in America bought a Mr. Potato Head. And then they didn't need to make any more because everybody had one. And it would just get passed on through generations, right? And that's how it became transgendered because you'd lose pieces of it as it got passed on through generations. So one day it just showed up at your house in work boots and eyelashes and everybody's fine with it. All right. And if that got you all fired up and your taint f off, okay? Potatoes don't have sexes, you weirdos. Nobody's ever been to a restaurant. Do you have male potatoes tonight? Balls on side, left on. Circumcised? Circumcised. Yum, 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 yum. Oh my god. I seen an uncircumcised one the other day at the gym. F scared the sh out of me. Looks like an alien. You ever seen an uncircumcised one? F terrifying. Looks like a windsock at an airport. Should be just pilots that have uncircumcised c so they can just put it out the window and find out which way the wind's coming. Yep, 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 yep. We're leaving from the north today. Yep, 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 yep. But no, it's just freaky people that want to make their c look bigger than it is. And it isn't. It's just useless skin at the end. Just I don't know. What what'd you say? All I heard was sexual. And then you whispered you whispered into your drink and then took a drink. Sexual, I love a good uncircumcised. It's my thing. It's my jam. I like a lot of extra skin. I like big f cuffs on my shirts. <laughs> and uncircumcised. I was fucking weird as shit, ma'am. That you, you know, it's only 7:30 at night. How how hammered can you be that you're mumbling into your drink? Mm, sexual. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Salted peanuts and uncircumcised. That's what gets me all flowing. Sorry, I apologize. What did you say? That might not have been what you said. What's that? What? No, it's good. It's good. You know I do jokes, right? This isn't a TED talk about leaving skin on your neck. Don't take anything I do seriously up here tonight. I am just an escape from the world for an hour. That's all I am. I am not trying to push you in any direction, okay? <laughs> no, it's pleasure for the men. Yeah, I don't think so, ma'am. You ever see one of those vaginas where one lip's longer than the other? Uh, same thing. Just little, yeah, one guy likes it. Looks like a SWAT team sneaking into a house. <laughs> clear, clear. 
I don't know how you get that. I guess you go f sledding when you're young and <laughs> your puss gets caught on a piece of metal and you try pulling back. And there you are, the rest of your life. Sorry, fellas, I keep making eye contact with you while we say these weird things. Thanks for coming out, guys. Glad to be here. Glad to be here. Don't get out much. Not too much. Are you retired or what's what's going on? Not yet. Not yet? How old are you? How old are you? Sixty. Sixty? You got years, buddy. Get back to work, you piece of sh <laughs> Trying to wrap it up early and suck off the government. F you, sir. That was uncalled for. You retire whenever you want to. What are you retiring from? What? What are you retiring from? Electrician. Electrician. Nice. <laughs> Only two people believe in electricity. <laughs> The rest of them are a bunch of MAGA people and don't even believe in electric cars. <laughs> if I don't smell gas, it's bullshit. <laughs> I want to hear this when I'm driving. Blah, 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 blah. I don't want to hear. <laughs> That's how you sneak up on somebody in a crosswalk. <laughs> what kind of car do you drive, little one? I don't know how tall you are. You might be how tall are you, buddy? So I, I keep calling you a little. Five, six? All right, I'm going to stick with little one. Good for you. Are you a gymnast? I feel like you're a tumbler at five, six. Uh, how'd you meet him, ma'am? How'd you meet him, I'm guessing? Mutual friend. The old-fashioned, hey, I slept with this guy. You should try. He's not tall enough for me, but I think you'll like him, Cindy. <laughs> I'm 5'8". I towered over top of him. I got on top of him. It looked like Mowgli from the Jungle Book. I was up there. Oh, good for you. And are you married or just, just living together and sin? Little sin. What's that? Sorry, buddy. Fuck, I see you. You're, you're a good man. You don't... Give him a talk. You've seen, you've seen yeah, things. Show him the tip of your fingers and how you've blown them off your body. He's an electrician. He hasn't, been, he hasn't felt finger banging in years. He does it. He wishes he had extra skin to feel things. Green M&M's. Weird. I don't even know if there is a green M&M. There is. Okay. A lot of diabetics in here. Today. You guys answered that before I even got out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And are you married? Are you married or not married? Engaged. You're engaged. All right. And a lot of people don't think you should be. They should have clapped for your love, but only three people did. Susie, extra skin clapped. She believes in sweet, sweet love making. This is, this, is, uh, this is Sacramento, very close to Stockton. People don't believe in much. They believe in your fucking catalytic converter shouldn't be on your car. That's what they believe around here. Which is why you should get electric cars and fuck those people up. That still probably steal a piece thinking it's How'd you ask her to marry you? You didn't need to get down on one knee. You're Just looked at her. <laughs> Sorry. Uncalled for. You can punch me right in the <laughs> hip afterwards. You can get me right there. You can get me right there. Don't go this far. Don't go this. That'll, that'll get me right in the tip. Uh, how'd you ask her to marry? I won't, I won't tease you anymore for me. What's that? You're moving cows? Is that what you said? Cows? C-O-W-S. Hold on, what happened here? I'm going to go back because uh, I think you're a little small to be moving cows. Oh my God. There's just going to be cow farts right in the face. All right, uh, so you're moving cows. Did you put a ring in a cow? Did you put it on one of the udders? Did you put a ring up there? Go milk that one. It's got chocolate milk in it. 
she's over there. There's something on here. It's a ring. Oh, my God. <laughs> he ran over there and slid on the cow shit as he was about to kiss you. <laughs> All right, you tell your story. I've told mine. I don't think it can beat mine. Mine is a love story that Disney will be making in a couple years from now. Cow love. Okay, well, ma'am, you tell it. He, he's shy about... He's got a lot of passion in him, but he doesn't like to talk about it. We're working really hard. We're working real hard. Of course, you're moving cows. You can't just f*** around doing that. Especially at your guys' size. You gotta f*** with an effort. You gotta lean into the cow. But don't not too far, because it'll tip it right over. Do you guys have a farm, or are you just, or is this some sort of just city people out and just being tricked, one of those things, by the Jelly Belly Factory or something you can do? We went and seen jelly beans, and then we moved cows. It was fucking crazy. I didn't expect it. And then he asked me to marry him. It's been a big day. We've moved cows, and we've seen the puke, fungi, the puke bean, or whatever it is called. Okay, so you're working hard. He's all sweaty. Girl! Are you guys even engaged? Like, did you even know? It sounds like she may have just told you in the middle of the comedy show, we're engaged. He's like, what the f***? I'm never coming to the city again. This is bullshit. Now you guys gotta go next door and buy a f***ing twin bed. Oh, they can't be on a king size. Jesus Christ. They'll just be chasing each other around on a king size. Them and 42 dogs sleeping comfortable. Cow looking in the window, wanting to come in. You guys get the big bed? Hey! <laughs> you're a farmer, so you're farming. Farming people, ranchers, cucamonga. And uh, do you live on the farm, or is it somebody else's farm? I'm sorry I'm asking so many questions, but I'm very curious right now. Is anybody else curious? Am I just like, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, how far is the farm from here? How, how, how many times? How long did you have to drive in with your Dodge Dooley? 25 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Cutting people off. She's standing up on the seat, leaning out the window. Oh, this is uncalled for. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sure there's a little person here that's an even littler here and hiding under the table so they don't get caught. <laughs> Going out to their golf cart and driving home immediately. 45 minutes, that's how far the farm is from here. 30 minutes? Nice. 30 minutes. Nice. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like he lives by the airport. <laughs> you live near the old stadium? Remember that when they tried to move the town? So they move the stadium out near the airport and people are like, nope. We will not go see a basketball game. And then Golden Corral came to town and built a stadium downtown. That's right, the buffet people came here and said, we're going to be downtown. We're going to have a stadium downtown and we're going to keep the homeless outside. Okay, so you're on the cow, you're on the farm. How, many, how, how long in advance did you know you were going to ask her? Two months? Did you did you try once, but you just couldn't get it out? You, your voice cracked. Okay. I had a plan. You had a plan. Yeah. Got the cows moved. Get myself a woman. <laughs> I gotta get the goddamn dairy cows out of that section, and, and then I'm gonna lock down some. <laughs> That's farmer talk right there on this side. Wear the big boots and a condom. I like it. Were you expecting him, ma'am? Were you shocked and surprised? Shocked and surprised. Shocked and surprised. Did you cry? Did you turn into a little puss and cry? <laughs> that was a, no, you didn't cry. You fucking put it on me. And then you went right back to moving cows. Because she's a farmer girl. She's got to get done. Chores aren't going to do themselves. God damn it. Start the fire. I'm going to make some bread. That's <laughs> farmer people. Unlike these people, they're not farming people. I just look for the green M&Ms only, those people. The other ones taste different. 
Are you guys married? Are you married? Are you... No. Oh, f I'm going to be honest with you. Look at them and then look at you. Maybe it's time. <laughs> How old are you? How old am I? Yeah, yeah. Old enough? Old enough? Well, it's time. <laughs> Ma'am, if he takes you out to move some cows, you know what's coming. <laughs> He's going to try to have sex with you on a farm. You're going to get a piece of hay right in your butthole. <laughs> what was that? Only if he puts a ring on it? Is that what? <laughs> What's that? Pretty sure we all just heard that. He can have my butt if he puts a ring on it. Oh, that was confidence. He can have my butt, but there better be a ring on my finger. Well, I walk differently for a week. Good for you. I love it. Are you married? Tired? <laughs> Yes. Yeah. It's got <laughs> shit done. <laughs> he's what? That's because he's an electrician. No, that's because he's older and he knows he's got to get shit. Have you had the camera in your butthole yet? Not yet. Not yet? It's time. You got to go down. You go down to Best Buy right after the show, show them your ID, and they'll shove a camera right up your butthole. They'll send a picture right to your doctor and you'll be okay. That's not how it happens. You go to the doctor and you're on drugs when they put a camera in your butthole. Which is usually how something ends up in your butthole. <laughs> After a big night of toot scoots magoots, let's try something different. Why don't you put that in my butthole? All right, I'll tie a string on it so we don't lose it. <laughs> but it's different than that. I'm 52. I've had I've had the uh, finger in the butthole. I've had the camera in the butthole. I had to pee in a cup. No, that was different. That was for gonorrhea. <laughs> I've done everything though. I got I got the insurance that doesn't pay for everything. It's weird that we pay for insurance, right? It's bullshit. All right. Apparently, everybody else has got. No, no. It's yeah. I, I get it. It's, it's a government town. You have. Fantastic insurance. I get it. Not all of us work for the th state. See, that guy's hurt over there. You work for the state, bud? Yeah? What, are you fingering me? I will f***ing take a picture and send it right to HR, mother f Give me one of those. What do you do for the state? What's that? You finger fish? Hmm. So you just go down to the river and do that to them? <laughs> go away, salmon! Explain! He's a... He's a fish lover? <sighs> Government jobs are really easy to get. <laughs> that guy might be special needs over there. <laughs> just a fish lover over there. I like fish! I'm special needs. I got a touch of the Tourette's and a little bit of tism. That's why I swear so much. I apologize. I don't know if it's the Tourette's or the tism, but it's the, I swear a lot. What, what's your favorite swear word? My favorite swear word? Yeah. Hell, here's the deal. Here's the deal. I'm going to No, no, wait, wait. Holy sh**. Have you been in a car accident without a seatbelt? Because this is how our conversation, what's your favorite swear word? looks beside him and then goes, my favorite swear word? And then I go, hold on, and then you go, f oh, Ma'am, you might not want to get a ring on your finger. You're going to say stop, and he's going to go, ma'am. You're in the front, so there's going to be a lot of questions for you. Because okay? you guys keep looking at me like, how did he find us? I look down. And I can hear a lot of laughter, and then I see your guys' faces and it is not matching up. It's like watching Telemundo right now. The faces and the noises are not coming together. It's just a moat right here keeping me away from the fun people. Did you just look at them? Special needs people, they're, they're behind that fence over there. That's him right over there. We're gonna have chocolate afterwards. I see it in the car. 
What's that? Green M&Ms. Green M&Ms. <laughs> I love it. You brought your own joke and you're f***ing thrilled by it. She's gonna go to work on Monday. Well, I guess I'll be leaving. I'm in show business now. I was at the Serta store on Friday night. I told a joke. I'm in show business now. Good for you. That is awesome. I love it. No, enjoy yourself. You can't do anything wrong. You're just, you, you haven't been this red the whole time I've been doing comedy, but you're losing your shit after the green m and ah, 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 ah. I am on fire. I'm going to love this crowd. You guys are fun. We should build a village afterwards. I know a farm that we can turn into a city. You'll be in charge of electricity. You'll be in charge of pleasure. You'll be in charge of fish. Some you'll finger, some will eat. <laughs> we'll have a glory hole right in front of a aquarium. People will put their d well, that's weird. Just, just a fish up there. We've all seen that fish in the aquarium before. Well, that thing got teeth. Nobody knows if it has teeth and nobody wants to find out. Oh, we're gonna have cows, it's gonna be fantastic. Guy with the sunglasses on his head at night. You'll be in charge of drugs. Did you guys come here to fight me? Like two of you are laughing, the other two, I'll f***ing take this guy down. I'm only 5'6 as well, if he calls me little, I'll be all over his knee like a mother f I'm a wrestler, I'm f***ing low to the ground. Always check a guy's ear before you fight him. If he's got cauliflower ears, you walk away. That is a wrestler, they will f shake your hand, pull your thumb, you'll wake up naked in a ditch with a beer bottle in your ass for no apparent reason. Like, what the f happened? Oh no, a wrestler! <laughs> Guys with too big of beards, too, don't fight them because you don't know where to punch, right? You don't know where their chin is. You think you're gonna go for the knockout punch and you just hit them right in the collarbone by mistake. When was the last time you were in a fight there, fella? Hey, fella! Did you just do this to me? Nope. I'm not playing this game. We are not talking about fighting, because I lost the last one. <laughs> How old are you? How old are you? Uh, 47. 47? You f look great. <laughs> look at the future. <laughs> you looks good. You look good, bud. Stand up, take a wave. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't expect you to do it that quick. <laughs> he popped out like he still got some lead in the pencil. Good luck later on, ladies. There's gonna be a six-year-old taking some glycer in before. <laughs> How did you meet your lady? How did you, you meet your lady? Uh, <laughs> Mah. Mah. Don't lie. Just don't think of something. Just let it happen. Stay calm. We're all friends here. There's no stupid answer. You heard that guy over there. I finger fish. <laughs> what do you do for the government? I finger fish. <laughs> Sounds more like a hobby, not a job. <laughs> Gavin Newsom's hiring people to finger fish. <laughs> okay, back to you, back to you. How'd you meet? Can I, I'll talk to her. You don't, you don't feel comfortable. I'll talk to her. Long time ago. Long time ago. Okay, we've got the time zone. <laughs> but how? Remember, you guys didn't know each other, and then you did. What happened to that triangle? <laughs> These are not tough questions, people. <laughs> you seen him at church, and you said, forget Jesus. That's what I want. <laughs> you just seen a piece of heaven walk through the church. <laughs> and 
like, that's the one I want. I'm going to go over and see if he wants to go for pancakes. <laughs> was it a Catholic church? It was. Oh, man. <laughs> so you got to see how she was going on her knees and back up. <laughs> that is a girl. That is a girl. Hold on, she's yelling at me now. She's very different than him. I don't go on my knees. He can go on a ladder. I'll suck his dick on a ladder. What? What's that, since 1999? Everybody clapping for you. That's 1999. That's 20, 24 years you guys have been together. That's awesome. Oh, my God. Bro, did, you have a, did you have an airbag in that car that you picked her up in? 1999, no airbag. He picked you up in a Monte Carlo? Holy shit. Surprise, he didn't turn you into a hooker with a car like that. That is a f***ing pimp car hanging out of Pulling up in front of the Catholic Church with a Monte Carlo. I'm about to find some beers. See which one's Neil the best. I'm Catholic, but I don't have to go to church anymore because my grandma died. That is right. She took one for the team and we got our Sundays back. It is awesome. Mormons don't clap at that one. They don't find that joke funny at all. I'm just gonna go soak this off. That person knows. That person knows. It's different than fingering a fish. You guys are fun. Love it. It's stupid though, we get all fired up about things. Like, I like to watch TV every so often, and not a lot of people know what TV is anymore. They just watch it on their phones, but I like it. I like, to, I like a good afternoon. F a good afternoon Bravo session. Watch the Kardashians. It makes me giggle. Uh, some of you are too busy for bringing the cows in and marrying women to know what the Bravo and the Kardashians is. It's a show about this group of succubuses that travel the world stealing men's souls. Yes. And every time they get one, their nose gets a little thinner. It's very bizarre. One guy was married to a Kardashian. He wanted out. This is how powerful they are. He had to OD in a house to get away from his woman. Usually you can do one or the other, but they're strong succubuses. Another guy cut off his dick. It's just nuts. It's my favorite joke of all time. Just nuts. It's just nuts. But a lot of people get nervous during that joke because they know HR could pop in at any time and tell us, can't make fun of that. Don't talk about it. No, you got to talk about the past to get to the future. And I used to be the most manly man in the world, right? Some of you know you're nodding. You know, you're old enough. Yeah. <laughs> Wheaties box. Yeah. Wheaties box, that's right. He, see, he was the fucking manliest man in the world. He went to the Olympics and he did 10 sports in one because fucking one sport was not enough. Because <laughs> he was fucking testosterone filled and he had to do a lot of things and he won the gold medal because he was the most manly man in the world. And then he came back and we put him on a cereal box. Wheaties, little pair of shorts, one nut hanging out the side. Because <laughs> that's how you wore the shorts back in the 70s. Fucking tight up top, nuts hanging out the side. And we didn't care because he was the most manly man in the world. We just put our thumb over top of the cereal fucking bowl box. We just covered his nuts off and poured the cereal into our bowl. And... Right? Then he married a Kardashian. Fucking boom, he's a woman. But listen to this. This is how powerful of a man he is. As soon as he became a fucking woman, he became woman of the year. How fucking manly is that? That is the most manly thing of all time. Stand back, bitches. I got this. And he, and some of you are very confused. He won what? I don't know, some ward that's a pink hat or something. Thank you over there. This side over here. We shall overcome. That, that guy's all boned up thinking about fish. Oh man. I want to finger a halibut. Flatfish from Luwa. That's my move right there. Meh, 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 meh. That's how lesbians wave at each other. But... 
That's how 16-year-old boys wave at each other right there. <laughs> hey, Jerry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what size of feet do you got, buddy? Ten. What's that? Ten. ten. Nice. Did you clap for a ten? <laughs> Very comfortable. <laughs> Wide or? Normal. Uh, normal? Normal, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's that? I like you, Adidas. You like my Adidas? These are 11, want to switch? <laughs> I'll walk around like I'm uncomfortable. You can be comfortable and just flap your feet on the floor. <laughs> That's the kind of person I am. I like the way you dress. You dress Thank cool. You, Thank you, are you a lawyer? Or you have that feel like you might be a lawyer. No. No. Real estate? No, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> How did that offend you? Real estate? <laughs> f you, you f off. I'd rather move a goddamn cow than sell a house. What do you, what do, you do? What do you do? I'm a logistics coordinator. Uh, lo logistics coordinator? Yeah. FedEx? <laughs> FedEx? Did, did you just look at your wine? I work for... Uh... <laughs> Come on, alcohol, don't fail me now. <laughs> Tell me what I do. For wine, for the wine? Oh, that's f***ing awesome, that's nice. It's like, yeah, do you get free bottles? When they, yeah. when they fall off the truck yeah. into your car? <laughs> that's logistics. <laughs> got a plan where you're parked right there and then just hit the truck and then bloop, just falls right into you. Good choice, ma'am, good choice. You got kids with him, you got kids with him? Yeah. yeah. How many kids you got? Two. Two! Which one do you like the best? <laughs> Like me, one, one looks like you? Yeah, so I said, which one do you like the best? And you said, one looks like me. Yeah. That's the one I like. The other one looks like her, and I don't want to like that one. That's awesome. How old are they? How old are they? 19. 19? How old are you guys? I'll be 15 in two weeks. 15 in two weeks? Happy birthday. Yeah. He's a Thanksgiving baby. Yeah. It has a sh birthday because it's Thanksgiving. Nobody cares about you. They just want turkey. Get out of the way, Alejandro. What's your name? Ivan. Ivan? I did not see that coming. I thought it was going to be all smooth and stuff and then you just turned into a goddamn Russian. I judged a book by its cover and I'm an I thought you were going to be Latino, and I was wrong. I apologize. I'm hot, I'm hot. You're half Latino and half Russian. Yeah. <laughs> Latino. No, no. Ivan means John. Ivan means John. Juan. Juan? Oh, Juan. What are we talking about right now? <laughs> no, no, no. You've had some wine, and you're full of shit right now. <laughs> no, it means John or Juan, depending where you are. Juan doesn't mean John, though. Yes. No. Yes. It means Wayne. Juan. What? Yeah, Wayne. Tomato, tomato. Tomato, tomato, Wayne, Juan. John Ivan. Yeah. Must be difficult at an in and out drive through. I'd like some tomatoes. What did, what did you just yell at? I say, if you're from Australia, you can call me Vaughn. If, if I'm from Australia, I can call you Vaughn? Yeah, Yvonne. Yvonne? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you want to try some other countries, too? <laughs> Front row is a little special needs. It is f***ing awesome. I love it. You're the front kids at the back of the room, but now you're sitting up front. You can call me Vaughn, but if you're in Australia, you can call me Vaughn. John Wayne Lingo Heimer Schmidt. His name is my name too. Whenever I go out, they always say, Hey, f I haven't put some wine in the back of the car. <laughs> I feel like you guys don't drink wine. You guys didn't have fun during that. You guys had some, some sort of incident where you got diarrhea. <laughs> Sh their pants after two bottles of red. You're from Napa? Oh, you're, so you're a special people. We drink from the nipple of wine. 
sometimes we don't even drink the wine, we just suck the grapes right off the vine. <laughs> I love this crowd. It's like my family's Christmas dinner in here. Everybody's got, a, everybody's got an attitude and funny. At some point, somebody's just gonna stand up and yell, all right, who brought the slut? And then my dad will get up, she's your mom and you'll respect her. We'll laugh, she'll cry, and then it's Christmas. Good times. Sorry, we'll get to you. You guys have a fourth table. We've got these three. We've got him. You like what? Do you like Christmas or uh, Thanksgiving better? Which one do you like better? Christmas. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Because of the lights. Yeah. The presents. The presents. I thought being an electrician it would have been the lights. Your money making time of year, walking around to people's houses and going, You gotta put this one right here and bling, and everything lights up. Yeah. You like the presents? Do you like to give or do you like to receive? I that one's got a little it. creepy. I apologize. <laughs> what did I just say to him? You wanna suck my d or you want me to suck yours? <laughs> I am not doing anything with you. We're all going to an aquarium glory hole afterwards. <laughs> We're all gonna go ruin the salt water. Sorry. Kids, you got kids? One daughter, yeah. Yeah, one daughter? Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. How big was your biggest baby when it fell from your loins? 7'4. Seven, 7'4, four. Seven, four, nice size. Way to keep it tight. Yeah. Anybody had a bigger baby than 7'4? Anybody had a bigger baby? <laughs> Ma'am? How big was yours? Nine? Yep. Nine. Nine. All right, we're at nine. This is for the cow people. Anybody got a bigger baby? Anybody, 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 anybody? We got nine, we're looking for a bigger baby doll, I'm looking for a bigger baby doll, we're looking for ten, trying to get ten, looking to win nine, got a look at ten. <laughs> Anybody had a bigger baby than nine? She did. She doesn't even want to play this game, she can't, she can't even laugh at these jokes without peeing a little bit. There's a little bit of a dribble every time that lady giggles. Somebody get her a wood chair, she's f***ing up our furniture. Sorry ma'am, I apologize. You seem like a kegler. <laughs> you seem like you just snapped right back. How big was yours? How big was yours? Ten and a half. Ten and a half. Holy <laughs> Pussy baby, seven pounds, right, ma'am? You wouldn't even have to go to hospital to have a seven pound baby. Just walk into your front yard. <laughs> Flick it over the fence, have a cat lick it clean, take it home, raise that baby. All that applause is for you. I had one woman at one show. She had a 14 pound baby. Let me tell you what. Yes! And let me tell you right now, the vagina just does not snap back. How do I know? It was a windy night. After she left the show, it sounded like a didgeridoo from Australia coming down the street. All you could hear was. Slap, slap. How is that not funny, everybody? Some of you aren't laughing. There's only one way that joke isn't funny. It's a, my father was killed by a big vagina. You're an asshole. It was a windy night. He was just walking home. Lip took his head clear off his body. It's a terrible night to be a midget. <laughs> oh my God, you guys have been nonstop laughing for about an hour and a half. This is great. This is great. You guys are just... Laugh. You guys, I can't believe the energy you guys have had. It's just, you guys, I don't know if you've been stuck in the house for a really long time. We took an extra year after COVID. And you're fine, loud. We're gonna laugh. We're gonna laugh. Every time somebody coughs, my butthole tightens up. Which is weird, because that is not how this virus gets in. That is a completely different virus that gets into your butthole. The original virus, that's what I call it. Not like this pussy virus, you just go someplace, somebody coughs, and now you gotta take four days off work. The old one, you had to lose your pants to get that one. Do you guys not remember AIDS? I just forgot it. You're too close. Uh, Ivan! What's, what's your name? Carlo. Carlo? That's the opposite. 
That's who I thought was going to be. Oh Whitey Wick Whitey, I thought he'd be Ivan. And him be Carlo. Holy sh! There was a baby switched at the hospital. Some fish fanger or banger or came in and just. Ivan, John, Juan. <laughs> Meanwhile, Carlo. You, you look more like a Carl. Sometimes. You get that, you get a lot of those uh, guys fired up. Oh, I don't like to put the O on the end of it. You'll be, you'll be Carl. <laughs> Carlo, what? Don't tell me, don't tell me that people will find your social security number. <laughs> I don't want you to get robbed or anything. These farmers are very good on the internet. <laughs> They're trying to buy these machines that you put on the tits of the cows. <laughs> and they're sitting in the house smoking their weed. No, oh, those are weed people over there. You people are all... Mm. We're Rx people. We take a pill pill. We're better than that. First of all, I want to thank you guys all for coming out. Can I do that? Can I do that? Thank you so much. It's nice to see you. I've been coming here a long time, and I've not had as many people that have been here this week ever, and it's awesome to have that many people come out to the show. See, what happened was uh, that young man, Bobby, I met him in uh, December of last year. In January, he started taking videos that I've made and cutting them into clips and putting on the internet. And in January, I had 5,000 people following me on uh, YouTube. And now I've got about 225,000. So it's crazy. <laughs> kind of crazy. And people like you show up at the shows and I have so much fun because you guys are the fun people on the internet. There's a, there's a lot of weird people on the is he weird on the internet? Oh, no, he's, he's, what's that? We never heard of you. We never heard of you. I love that. No, stop right there, ma'am. Bring me back to earth. No, bring me back to earth. That was the best ever. We've never heard of you, mother <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. I'll, I'll let you finish this. Go ahead. We're the porch pounders? So they We're the porch pounders? What the f***? What, what just? I think we've missed some of the conversation. We've never heard of you. We're the porch pounders. Oh, my God. Those f***. Those people f on a balcony. They do funny Fridays. What's that? They do funny Fridays. They do funny Fridays. And they showed, us your and they showed you your video. Like, my video. Oh my They're gonna be yeah. in Sacramento. And then we're gonna be in Sacramento. Boom, we're here. See this is what this is what I mean because of people like him. People show up to my show and it's changed my whole life. It's made my family like much more comfortable and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, Porch Pounders. No, it means a ton. It means a ton that you people come out. And, I, and I'm slowly, I'm finding my, my tribe, they call it. And we're just growing bigger. And I love it. Yeah. But I still have to meet weirdos on the internet. Like one of my first videos that I put out, I put out this video. I did a Showtime special years ago. And I put out a clip from it. And it was, uh, I did a Showtime special. And, I, and it's filthy, right? And I'm not the Wiggles, but somebody brought their kid to the goddamn show. Right? And there was a 14-year-old boy at the show, and I do a sh joke about being a virgin, and I thought, I'll talk to, the, I'll ask the boy, I'll ask the boy, because he's 14, I'm like, are you a virgin? Knowing the answer is going to be yes, right? So I go, are you a virgin? He goes, yes. I go, good, stay as innocent as long as possible, right? But, <laughs> the first time you go down on a girl, it's got a little bit of a kick nobody warns you about, right? Right? Which is funny to you guys. His parents laughed. He was confused. He's like, huh? <laughs> right? And we all had a good laugh. Because every guy in here remembers the first time they went down on a girl. Everybody's like, whoa, that tastes nothing like the magazine. <laughs> right? <laughs> and some girls are laughing and every guy's remembering. But some of the ladies are upset. I was told it tasted like peaches. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If peaches had a battery in it. 
right? And I'm not saying every time. I'm not trying to scare everybody off of puss. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm just saying, I say, I say it's an acquired taste is what I'm trying to tell you. It's kind of like coleslaw. Remember the first time you had Caesar salad or coleslaw? I guess that's good. But after you have Caesar salad a couple times, you're like, I love Caesar salad. I'm going to have it every day. So I tell that joke, right? And people like you, normal people, <laughs> laugh at it, but I get all these other weirdos sending me hate mail. You f***ing pedophile! And I'm like, I wasn't trying to f*** them. I was warning them that snarch tastes like snooch the first time. <laughs> weirdos. And they can't come to the shows because they wear ankle bracelets and that's why they're watching clips online. Freaks, they're goddamn fish finger bangers. <laughs> Fishophiles. <laughs> but it's fun. It's absolutely, it's, more, it's so enjoyable being able to meet people like you. So thank you so much. That's what I want to say, okay? Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm recording the show. Can I do one thing? It's, it's my parents, yesterday was my parents' 55th wedding anniversary. So. Uh, I just, I'll send them a little, a little video and then you guys can wish them a happy birthday, okay? So mom and dad, I don't know where the camera is. Mom and dad, uh, happy 55th wedding anniversary. Thank you for having me. I had a, a wonderful childhood. I don't know how I ended up doing this because mostly guys that do this had horrible childhoods. But I had a wonderful childhood and I hope you're married for another 55th, 55 more. And uh, this is, uh, this is <laughs> Sacramento saying happy anniversary to you. So. <laughs> And I'm gonna need some of that, uh, I'm gonna need some of my money that you guys said you were gonna give me when I was a kid. <laughs> What's that? <coughs> what? No, no, don't kill him. <laughs> I meant for doing chores, not <laughs> Come on, mom and dad, give me the house, bitches. <laughs> Sorry, mom and dad, that fish over there. <laughs> him and the people that are with, they're like, Kill him! <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, <fun. laughs> Do you have pets other than fish? Because I'm concerned about them. Chasing your dogs around. <laughs> the tail was up, it was tempting me. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this. I hope you're having fun. I know there's a lot of bleeps because I like to say f a lot. Anyways, if you want to hear those, make sure to follow me on Patreon where everything's uncensored and you can touch my balls.